You know, last night the Blues chilled the Predators 5-4 to four in St. Louis, but the game still ended up hotter than most expected. Somehow, X-rated audio ended up on the air during the game. So we asked News Channel 5's Todd Walker to find out just how it could have happened. Todd? Well, Rory, it's the most talked about hockey game in the country right now, and while we are handling this in a mature way, we are talking about mature content. So moms, you may want to send the kids out of the room if they're staying up late tonight. Ekholm zips up ice. Anyone who tuned into the Preds game Thursday night looking for a win didn't quite get what they hoped for. And that puck does come loose. But they might have also gotten more than they bargained for. Partway through the first period, the internet started lighting up about not what they were seeing, but what they were hearing. Sometimes it was subtle, other times not so much. Because of the technical difficulties we have, if you have heard anything that you don't think you should have been hearing, we do apologize for that. Fox Sports Tennessee sent out a tweet last night also apologizing for the extra programming, blaming it, of course, on technical difficulties. So how does something like that happen? Most places along the way, cable and satellite, don't change or manipulate the sound or the picture, which goes back to, well, somebody did, and it probably was where the where everything started. Gibson Pritchard is News Channel 5's chief engineer, and he says now that broadcasts are all digital, there are only a few places where the audio can be modified. Very few. You probably count them on two fingers. Those being the audio board and the relay point where the commercials are put in before going to the cable or satellite company. And News Channel 5 has learned there were some concerns about the freelance audio operators past prior to the broadcast. Fox Sports says it is investigating, but has had no other comments. And this is not the first time something like this has happened. Back in 2008, Comcast in Nashville somehow ended up broadcasting pornography on the Cartoon Network for nearly an hour.